True Gold. Heaven Letter Number 5111. November 22nd, 2014. The only person you owe is yourself. You are obligated to yourself. This is not selfishness I advocate. Not at all, yet, nor are you to be at the beck and call of anyone who wants to claim you as their right. When I say you are indebted to yourself, you have to remember that you do well to include in the many you wish to do good for the one you call yourself. You are not to overlook yourself. You are not to relegate yourself to the end of the line. Certainly, your life on earth counts as much as anyone else's life on earth. You have rights and privileges. Nowhere do I mean that service to God means putting everyone's needs before your own. You personally cannot fill everyone's needs. I can. You can't. Certainly, in one sense, you are servant to all the world. However, what service would you give to the world by putting everyone before you? You may choose to give up your life to save another. At the same time, you don't have to. This is your choice. You are not obliged to give everyone what they may want at your own expense. You also have your life to live. Remember that your service is to me and on behalf of me. Reserve some regard for yourself. You are not to consider yourself selfless. You are also your own person. If you give all of yourself away, what is left of you? Nor are you selfish. You can come from such a height that nothing is a sacrifice. You do not sacrifice. You give what you want to give from your full heart. You are not an apprentice at selflessness. You do not do a good deed for glory or to prove your own worth to yourself. You are humble. Humble does not mean that you demean. You do not make mince meat of yourself going around trying to please everyone else, as if others' needs are more worthy than your own, no questions asked. You come from a high natural place that is truly yours to give from. You are doing what you want to do and what will make you glad. From where I am, to consider yourself as self-sacrificing is an aggrandizement of ego. You do not have to be the most giving person in the world any more than you have to be the most beautiful or the wisest of all. You do not have to prove yourself to yourself. You do not have to prove your worth to yourself. There is nothing you have to prove to anyone, including yourself. There is a lot to be said for honesty. Be honest with yourself. If you have a sense that you are sacrificing, give it up. To sacrifice is an attachment you may have to being noble. You are not to be attached to images of yourself. Have no other gods before me. Be aware that ego likes to present itself in a lofty way. This makes ego feel good. I am all for your feeling good, and you can certainly feel good about a good deed, yet be clear that you give to give and not for aggrandizement to yourself or as passes or tickets to heaven. You are already ticketed for heaven. You are not to sell yourself for heaven. You are not here on earth to gain points or to win a game. You are here for service. The service you give is meant to come from love. Something is given in love, or it is not given. Service that is given to raise yourself in your own estimation isn't giving. How do I say this, beloveds? Do not be attached to your giving. Give and be unattached. Otherwise, you may be giving fool's gold. Fool's gold is a metal that looks like gold, only it isn't. You are worth true gold. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org